Restaurant Concepts, which is a company that my wife and I uh, founded back in 2006 uh, with the opening of our first restaurant, uh, Bricks, up here in Flagstaff. Uh, but when we decided to go into another restaurant and expand and we opened up Criollo in 2009, we created the parent company um, to house uh, all of the entities. The motivation for Proper Meats and Provisions really uh, originally started through a conversation with a friend of ours, a rancher friend of ours in southern Arizona, who had expressed an interest in wanting all of the animals that he raised to go into a local food system, which isn't the case for him right now. And we started kicking that idea around and thinking, how can we help with that? And what, what came to be was this idea of a retail butcher shop that sourced all local Arizona raised animals that we could also help to try and build some infrastructure to wholesale into our own restaurants. Bricks was opened in 2006 uh, with the idea that we would bring uh, local, locally sourced food and, and goods uh, to the Flagstaff area. It didn't really exist too much then, and so um, we wanted to bring somewhat uh, fine dining to town and incorporate uh, the local aspect as well. Uh, we spent about eight years. We're still doing it, building the infrastructure um, to get a lot of the food up here, uh, produce and, and ranches and stuff like that. So uh, we're expanding all the time, but uh, it took a good long while to get that going. This restaurant's different than the rest, um, the rest of our other restaurants because we don't have lunch. Our plates are more intricate here. Uh, we take a lot more uh, time with steps of service. So the first part of the day is really getting ready for five o'clock dinner service. We don't have that luxury at the other restaurants. Creary Latin Kitchen is the second restaurant to Rick's. Uh, it's part of our, our company, Slow Restaurant Concepts. Uh, SLO stands for Sustainable Local Organic. Uh, we opened in 2009 and we just celebrated our five year anniversary. Criollo actually, there's many different meanings for Criollo. Uh, one of them is meaning local or indigenous, and that is one of the inspirations that, that the owner had, Paul Laura Moyer, uh, in naming this restaurant. There are also other meanings of Criollo, as in the Criollo cattle. We carry Criollo cattle here. Criollo beef is a heritage uh, breed where, whereby the animal is uh, leaner um, and uh, weighs, weighs less as well. Creole Latin Kitchen really offers the community a space to come together. That's one of the things that we really, really appreciate about what we've created here. The arts is very important to us, so each month we participate in First Friday Art Walk with local artists uh, and musicians. But the art scene is really important to us at Criollo. It gives us an opportunity to feature our local artists here, and they really make Flagstaff a, a better place to live. We try to source as, as locally as possible. It's really unique. You can source locally if you consider the state local all year round. Um, it's so different seasonally. So when we're not growing up here, we're buying a ton from Bob McClendon, uh, buying from uh, the guys down in Tucson, and uh, vice versa. So there's no real dead point for us. We just kind of move our focus up and down the rim, which is nice. I believe the economic benefits of purchasing things locally are it simply keeps more money in the local community. It helps uh, other small businesses survive. They in turn go out and hire more employees. They spend more money locally. Um, it's just this economic cycle of keeping money flowing through our local economies. Locally sourced food is so important to us at Criollo and Slow Restaurant Concepts because we need to know our farmers, we need to know our food. It is very important that we can pull from our local food shed, thereby reducing the impact on our environment. Um, we don't need to be sourcing thousands of miles away if we can source 100 miles away or 150 miles away. There are some challenges working in northern Arizona because of the accessibility to these, these farmers and food systems, but what's happening, what's, there's a great genesis right now and a great renaissance that's happening in our food system and our food culture here in northern Arizona because people want to be able to be self-reliant. I think Proper Meats and Provisions is unique uh, in that it's been a long time, I think, since people have seen these 
sort of community-oriented butcher shops. In this particular case, you can come in, we have the meat case and the butcher shop side, we also have a deli side where you can sit down and order sandwiches um, and have lunch, and I just, uh, it's something I have not seen a lot over the years, and, and uh, people seem to be responding really, really well to it. Our food is really a, a wonderful offering to the community here. We're, we're a small, tight, tight-knit family, and we really, really appreciate that. So first of all, we really like to create that type of environment where we all feel like a family, and that really comes through to, the, to our guest interaction as well. Uh, a lot of our guests feel that sensibility of they feel like they're part of our family when they come into our restaurant. And so that, that's really, really important, what we like to try and do here. You open up a, a restaurant with the idea, sometimes a very clear idea of what you're gonna be, and then as you start to establish clientele, that changes all the time. They come in with an expectation or they come in with a response to what they're getting. And so I, I think our food's better. I think it's a, a, a little more contemporary now than it was back then. Um, and certainly our food shed map is huge now compared to what it was when we opened. So sourcing a lot more locally None of that was really going on uh, in 2006. So uh, a lot of local produce, but uh, local ranches are something that we've really built. When we first started, we were one very small restaurant. Um, and since we've grown, and I look at it now from an economic impact, I mean, we're by no means on the scale of some of these larger restaurant companies, but we have, you know, four or five million dollars a year that is moving through our organization. And we have a choice of where we're going to spend that money and where we're going to direct that money. And I feel like if we can direct it into local businesses and local farms and local purveyors, that that is just going to have such a bigger impact on our community than if we start letting it just go out to national purveyors and different places like that. So um, it's really been a conscious choice for us to as to where we're going to where we're going to direct those funds and where that cash is going to flow. We are Proper Meats and Provisions. We are Bricks Restaurant and Wine Bar. We are Criollo Latin Kitchen. We are SLO Restaurant Concepts and we are Local First Arizona.